Hello friends, today we are going to look at how to deal with learners who don't have index numbers. It's a common challenge to most of the secondary schools uh, dealing with the data upload, whereby some of the learners who uh, moved from primary level to secondary level and they don't have uh, uh, index numbers. They were registered but in the system, they don't have index numbers. And also these learners, most of them, they are registered, the teachers there, all the person in charge of EMIS uh, registers them uh, in either primary uh, six or P7. And immediately they have index, they have uh, lean numbers. So when they bring the lean numbers, to their current school that is, uh, let's say, senior one or senior two. Uh, they are transferred using daily numbers. So that's the challenge that is common with secondary schools. And we are going to uh, see how we can uh, solve that problem. So let's open our browser. Open any browser, log into uh, the EMIS account of your school. Tap on EMIS login as usual, uh, log in with your uh, details, email, and the password. So when you log in, you have your uh, dashboard. Then you have to move to learners. Under learners, click on view learners. When you click on view learners, you see the learners that you have uploaded. Now, how do you know that those learners have issues? Let's go to uh, learners index number. This is where you can confirm the details of the learner uh, in, 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 in relation with the UNEB details, the EMIS details versus the UNEB details. So we shall click on learner's index number. Learner's index number. When you click there, you immediately get the learners who are having challenges uh, with the index number. You can see here, this is the learner. He has, she has the lead but it does not have the index now. That means it was registered, it was not registered in her uh, former or current academic year, the year that he was uh, in that school at that time. So let's go ahead and confirm uh, the details of this learner. We can just uh, right click on her and then we say open a link in a new web. So when you open furthermore, to see more details about this learner, you find that the EMIS details, they're showing this, then under the name does not have. Now, when you come to this side uh, of UNEB details, when you tap on UNEB details, you find that this learner has no uh, UNEB details attached. And then when you look at the education background down here, you find that this learner, is at Eva and that, or was registered at Eva and that, uh, this and that. That's the school. Now, when you look at the year, you can see that he was registered in P7, which year? 2024. 2024 was registered uh, in the year 2024. And that's where uh, the learner is. That's where the learner is. So he was registered in, in P7, uh, that is 20, 20, 2024. Now, when this learner uh, uh, came with the lead, uh, he was successfully transferred, and you can see then the current year itself. The current year is showing what? Uh, 2024. That means this learner was registered in 2024, in 2024, and now he's at this school, or in secondary school, at 2020, in 2024. So you find that the problem. You find that there is a problem here. That means this learner uh, just went back and the school had to register her. So how do we deal with such learners? How do we deal with such learners? Now what we are going to do with this learner, we are going to first delete, delete this learner. How? We shall go back to view learner. We shall go back to view learner and we look for that learner where she is. So I've seen is in senior two. I'll go to senior two and I say apply. I'll look for that learner. 
I'll look for that learner until I find that learner. I'll look for that learner. She's here. So I'll tap on the what? On the action option, which is having the three dots. You tap on it, then you say lead, lead learner. Tap on lead learner, lead learner. Then they'll ask you, select the reason for deleting the learner. Click, and then we choose any option here, which is uh, relevant. Incomplete lean, learner duplicated, learner still in primary, pre-primary, wrong date of birth learner, wrong nationality. Uh, in the case, in our case, in our case, the learner, in our case, the learner's issue is not captured here. So what I will do, I'm just going to pick any option here, but I'm going to specify in details down there. I'll click on this one, learner duplicated. Then here, I'll describe. I'm going to describe what's the problem with the learner. So I will say, the learner does not have a PLOE index, index number. The learner does not have a UNEB PLOE index number. So you describe explain further what's the issue of deleting the land then you submit then they'll ask you you're about to flag this land for deletion do you want to say yes or not so you click yes or see once approved deleted the changes is reversible so you click yes so to show you that this land has been a flag uh, uh, or deleted so the record will be deleted permanently. So we shall click close. When you click close, uh, when you go to flag the learners, you must see that learner that you did completely deleted. So here we are. This is the learner which we have just uh, uh, flagged from the other side. So what I will do, So when you come to uh, flag the learners, you find that uh, this is the learner that you did what? That you, uh, you flagged, which is having some issues. So what you go, you have to do with this learner is to register the learner afresh. You know how to register. So what you do now, since the learner is no more in our database, so we are going to uh, register this learner afresh. So we shall go to uh, emis that upload. You click on uh, upload data. Then after you click on update, click on update. Go to learners, go to learners. Choose update learners information. Now you pick the correct class of the learner. The correct class uh, of the learner. So this learner is in form, is in form three. When did the learner start? Uh, P7, we pick the year. This learner is in Sniatu, sorry, it's in Sniatu. So we pick uh, the year that the learner start. Then we type the correct index number which is this one. After we say verify. So when you verify, you find that will give you the details, the right details of the learner. After uh, the learner is in, is in the current uh, class. So you choose uh, the district, then you put what? Uh, the parent name, type the parent name there, then you type the telephone number, Type the telephone number, 
uh, of the parents of the learner. Parent of the, the learner. And after you verify to uh, verify the details, then you choose what? Uh, the talents of the learner. The learner does. Uh, special needs, you choose. Uh, practical skills, you choose. The learner. Then after you click on save, save learner, click on save learner. So when you click save learner, a learner will be saved successfully. You can see she's even appearing here. When I open uh, to see more details of this learner, the details now read what? Uh, the field index number as that. Then you have details as that. So you can see. These are now correct details of the learning. So that's how you uh, how you confirm or you deal with uh, details of uh, a learner who is not having uh, index number.